radioactive particles from Fukushima found in California wines. Unfortunately, perhaps we thought Fukushima just went quietly into the night. Well, that's not so, it's still around. According to New York Times, ever since a huge earthquake off the coast of Japan sent waves crashing into the nuclear plant in Fukushima, setting off one of the world's worst nuclear crises, scientists have been uncovering the radioactive legacy of that 2011 disaster. The government warned that uh, about the contaminated seafood around Japan and toxic water, sludge and rubble, and more frighteningly radioactive wild boars marauding Japanese towns, attacking people. Now a group of French nuclear physicists say they've stumbled on Fukushima's signature in North California uh, wines. In a new study, the researchers report tested 18 bottles of California Rosé and Cabernet Chavignon from 2009 onward, and finding increased levels of radioactive particles in the wine produced after Fukushima. In the case of the Cabernet, the levels of radioactive materials doubled. Quote, we can measure at some radioactive level that is much higher than the usual level, end quote, said Michael Pravikov, a physicist at the French Research Center that worked on the study. The French research team has in recent years examined wines from around the world trying to correlate the level of radioactive materials with the date the wine grapes were picked. Wines made around major nuclear events, including American and Soviet nuclear tests during the Cold War and the Chernobyl accident, should show higher levels of radioactive isotopes called cesium-137. According to the researchers, the man-made isotope cannot be found in nature and would be present only at certain levels after the nuclear events. This method of analysis, Prakov said, has become a way of verifying the authenticity of wine as fraud continues to be a persistent and lucrative crime. Wine with cesium-137 cannot have existed before the mid-20th century, and certain nuclear events would leave unique signatures based on time and proximity to the grapes. Ingesting cesium-137 can result in an elevated risk of cancer, but the level of radioactive material from Fukushima and food and drink in countries outside Japan has been too low to result in health hazard, according to the World Health Organization. While the 2011 earthquake uh, cross, caused disaster in Fukushima and across Japan. With more than 1,600 fled the area around the plant, nobody was uh, believed to have been sickened or uh, killed by the radiation as most of the fallout was swept out into the sea, they said. Fish off the coast of Japan showed levels, elevated levels of radiation, including cesium, resulting in the Japanese government's banning or limited their sale of the seafood. The California wine, however, has not seen, is not seen as a health hazard, Pravikov said, while the radioactive cloud from a disaster floated over the Pacific Ocean to California, settling on grapes there, the radioactive levels were low and dropped with each passing year as well. Pravikov said these levels are so low, way below the natural radioactivity that's everywhere in the world. He said that the team's special equipment helped detect the change in levels of radioactive material. The California Department of Public Health said Friday that it's not uh, previously heard of the story, the study, but there were no health and safety concerns to California residents. And the report does not change that, according to the department spokesman, Corey Eagle, said in an email statement, Mr. Pravikov said the California bottles had radioactive levels so low that the researchers had to use a special technique to measure them. Burning the wine to ashes, in other cases where radiation is higher, the team's equipment can measure the radiation through the glass of the wine bottle so the bottle does not have to be opened. Typically, the test has been conducted on unopened bottles. Mr. Pravikov said the method was developed three decades ago and gained prominence as people became more attuned to wine fraud. Two years ago, he said, he was shopping at a supermarket when he found several bottles of K-1 
Cabernet Sauvignon from California's Napa Valley produced years before, but after Fukushima, and that spawned the idea to test for the disaster's imprint. He said, I just bought them just to see. It's more for the pure scientific aspect that we were interested in measuring them, he said. Mr. Pravikov said he would like to do more testing on bottles produced before the disaster to build more confidence in the team's findings. Maureen Downey, a wine authentication expert who leads Chai Consulting, a wine collecting consulting firm, called the French researchers' method fantastic science, but she said it was limited use to those in the wine industry, as prices could vary by thousands of dollars between neighboring vineyards. For example, 15 feet away is a difference in your bottle worth $15,000, she said. Your bottle, one bottle, $15,000. Wine, for its part, still remains a hotly debated drink when it comes to health. One study found that patients with type 2 diabetes who drink wine, most notably red wine, had a reduced cardiometabolic risk or the chance of heart disease, stroke, or other medical conditions, right? The red wine who, uh, was, that was drunk. Many other studies warn of health risks of alcohol abuse and the danger to pregnant women, of course. Now, while radioactivity from Fukushima will probably not hurt those seeking California wines from 2000 later and uh, 2011 later, the lesson, as always, is to drink, of course, in moderation. And we know since antiquity, people have been drinking, especially red wine, because it's good for the health in the stomach. This is by Mihir Zaveri from New York Times in Sun Bended Reality. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.